Hey everybody, Matt here with LGN Gaming, and today I'm just going to give you guys some quick tips and tricks on how you should start out on 7 Days to Die. Now first, you kind of want to get a bed set up somewhere relatively safe, somewhere quickly. Not your main base, just uh, somewhere like a building you can spawn back in just in case you die. And a storage chest as well to store your junk. Now go around and just build a bunch of stone axes and stuff like that. That way you can actually upgrade your uh, tool crafting. The way this game works is the more you craft something, the better you get at crafting it. And then you can make higher level stuff that'll last longer and do more damage. Um, now while exploring, there are a couple things you want to find. You want to find a wrench uh, and a short, short iron pipes. And you also want to hunt a little bit so you can get food meat specifically, and animal hide. Now you want to get these in order to make, so you need uh, 20 animal hide and one short iron pipe, and then you can make a bellows, which is a very important piece to a forge. Now once you make the bellows, you also need some wood, but wood's easy to get. Once you make the bellows, you need another short iron pipe, and then you can make a thing called a forge, which is another very important thing. Now the forge actually takes a couple different things. Whoops. Forge. The forge takes 50 stone, 50 uh, clay, one bellows, and one short iron pipe. And once you make the uh, forge, you actually can start doing a lot more stuff. You put uh, material on it to smelt. Here, I'll go to the one that's actually smelting stuff. You put material in it to smelt, it, do, it does that, and then you can produce things. A lot of important things like a cooking grill, cooking pot, uh, forged iron, and eventually once you learn it, you can make forged steel. You actually have to uh, <clears throat> re, uh, kind of research it. It's like uh, in your experience bar when you level up somewhere in here. There's something uh, for learning steel. I believe it's under this one. Steel smithing. Yep. And then once you get that, you can get some really good tools that really help your work move along a lot quicker. Now, you also want to start working on a base probably around day three. So you probably aren't going to have your forge set up until after the first week. Because you want to kind of get a decent wooden base set up. I prefer having underground bases, which kind of take a while to set up. But uh, they work really well. Um, I'm going to have a video up here in a day or two of me surviving day 22, or no, 21, rather. Um, it, me alone surviving it, it's pretty, pretty neat. Um, now, eventually, you're going to want to make a concrete mixer, which is really nice. It actually really rushes how well you can make things, and it makes really, really well-defended uh, things. Concrete is really good at holding back uh, things. These are actually forged steel now. These things hardly ever break. Um, but anyways, the way you make a concrete mixer, you need a couple different things that are, this is where the wrench comes in. Um, it's actually a cement mixer, I'm sorry. I keep calling it the wrong thing. You make concrete in it, but it's called a cement mixer. Um, you need 25 forged iron, a scrap cable, a uh, five spring, a small engine, and, a, and four short iron pipes. Now short iron pipes you can make once you have a forge, but you can't make these three items, the scrap cable, spring, and the small engine. Now, a scrap cable, if you have a wrench, you can go to either fridges or ovens and uh, hit them, kind of, and it'll actually take it apart. And you can get scrap cable using that. You can probably also get short iron pipes and some other things from the fridges and that, but scrap cable is mainly got, gotten from fridges and ovens. Now the spring and small engine you can get by taking apart cars. Um, the small engine is a pretty rare drop. You can get a couple other things like headlights and stuff like that, which are still very good um, from cars, and also gasoline and, and the like, stuff like that. But uh, it's, it's very good to take apart uh, cars. You get a lot of valuable resources. And once you get all those, you can build a cement mixer, which lets you make concrete mix, which is very nice. You have to learn it just like steel. Um, but it's definitely an important thing to learn, and then you can make a really defendable base. 
And then once you have a defendable base set up, you can basically survive indefinitely because uh, the fourth set of seven days is the hardest. And then it kind of resets back to normal difficulty. It, And then once you can basically just survive indefinitely then. You just have to worry about food and getting your guy real good and getting real nice guns and being able to absolutely destroy zombies. But yeah, uh, so once you get a good basis set up and once you survive the first week, it gets a lot easier from there. Once you have a good base set up, you can survive almost indefinitely. It's uh, pretty nice. Anyways, I hope this got this was helpful. If it was, feel free to leave a like. That helps me out a lot. And if you guys uh, like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. That's the best way to see when I post new videos. Um, the channel tries to post new videos every day uh, on a variety of games and uh, platforms. Anyways, Matt here with LGN Gaming, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.